pilot di helikopter ini pada dasarnya cuma menumpang karena helikopter otonom ini bisa terbang sendiri. The helicopter itself has its own brain basically and it thinks for itself. But I'll tell I will tell it when to land and when I need it by. And I also have the ability to tell it to go away if I don't need it anymore. Helikopter ini dijalankan memakai aplikasi. Penggunanya cukup memberikan tempat tujuannya kepada helikopter. Well, it actually plans the mission on board the aircraft. It navigates to wherever you send it by just giving it supervisory commands. You don't give it detailed planning. It avoids obstacles in a route. It avoids wires, trees, all, any obstacle it might interact with. And then goes to a landing zone that it knows nothing about, just like a pilot would. Bagi militer, keputusan untuk memanfaatkan pesawat otonom menyangkut penyelamatan jiwa dan kepraktisan. We say that why would I put a marine through a contested doorway when I can put a robot there first? Uh, so the same thing when you take it bigger with unmanned aircraft. There are certain things we can do with it that we can't do with manned systems, like just the rest hours that a human requires, or going into a high threat environment or a GPS denied or comms denied environment that we expect in the future. So the unmanned systems give us more options. Sementara Korps Marinir melakukan uji coba awal, ada daftar panjang profesi yang bisa memanfaatkan teknologi helikopter otonom. The firefighting situation going on in California, um, you know, they're put they're put in harm's way every day, the pilots and crews. So um, having something that they could send out there, do the mission without someone on board or or limited crew, um, is certainly a worthwhile investment. Ini bukan pertama kalinya marinir Amerika melakukan eksperimen dengan helikopter tanpa awak. Sepasang helikopter kargo otonom yang disebut K-MAX telah mengirimkan jutaan kilogram kargo ke Afghanistan antara tahun 2011 hingga 2013. Dari Washington, saya Helmi Johannes dan tim VOA.